what is up and did you just hear my voice crack oh my god <laughs> what is up y'all welcome back to my channel for another part of the sims 3 to sims 4 series which i am loving so today we are recreating the single mom's household from the sims 3 which consists of single mom fiona Mac and Mac Irish. Oh my gosh, I was about to say Macintosh. Mac Irish, her daughter River, and then her best friend Molly French and her daughter Sandy French. So this is one of my favorite families to play with in The Sims 3. I always gravitated towards them. There's just something about strong single women independent moms who don't need a man that I freaking love. So I was really excited to recreate them and y'all so far, this is my favorite recreation. Their house turned out so freaking cute, and I was kind of worried about it, but we'll talk about that later once we get to the speed build part. But anyways, let's talk about this household for those of you who aren't familiar with this family. So obviously, like I said, this household consists of two single mothers raising their children. Their little family description says Fiona McIrish is used to living alone with her teenage daughter River, but when Fiona's best friend needed a place to live with her own young daughter, Fiona readily invited the two to live in her home. Will Molly be the perfect housemate or Fiona's biggest regret? So, Let's talk first about Fiona McIrish, which is who we are creating now. So, Fiona McIrish, she is an adult, and she is the single mother of a teenage girl, River. And Molly is her best friend, and apparently Molly needed a place to stay for her and her daughter, so Fiona offered for Molly to stay at her house. Um... Fiona is in the journalism career track as an investigative reporter. Um, she is very ambitious it seems like to me I always made her very career driven she always really wanted a promotion and she needed a lot of work when you went into that save to kind of like or that family to get her where she needs to be to get a promotion so I always worked really hard and made her very uh, career oriented just because she is a single mom and she is raising a daughter now there is no recollection of who um, Rivers dad is according to like theories from like sims wikia um she was kind of just knocked up one night and it was nothing very serious she was never in a relationship with river's dad so yeah um anyways her daughter river who we are creating now she is a teenager and unlike molly and her daughter sandy river is very very neat she's kind of a perfectionist um she's both friends with sandy and molly but i don't really think it's supposed to work out in their favor because she is such like a neat freak and they are like so just out there and messy and I can imagine it driving her crazy you know it's just like her mom she's used to living with just her mom it's always been just her and her mom as long as she's been born and then out of nowhere here comes a little toddler and Molly which we'll talk about soon who is just full of personality a complete party chick and you know just out there so yeah I don't know I just I think River is very cute she's different right so she has like a very chill style. She doesn't wear a lot of makeup, but she's very artistic, so I gave her a little easel in her room. She's also neat and perfectionist good, so she's just an all-around good sim who is just like perfect. Um, like I said, she doesn't wear a lot of makeup. She's got that natural beauty. She likes indie music. She's just kind of... I don't know I guess you would say I, I just imagine her kind of being like a loner she's not very outgoing doesn't have like a ton of friends but she was a lot of fun to play around with and then now we are recreating Molly French which is Fiona's best friend so Molly Molly is a single mom duh obviously and she has a toddler daughter Sandy um so she's an adult so I was kind of like no I, because she has a toddler I'm gonna make her a young adult but no in the sims three and realistically she is an older sim who kind of like her best friend uh, fiona kind of got knocked up on a one night little stand and had a child so yeah <laughs> she has wavy brown hair which i really love the cc hair that i gave her it's kind of like very tousled and messy which i feel like goes with her personality perfectly um she is in the cooking or culinary career track and 
when you first go into like the family in the sims 3 her job performance starts out in the red though to kind of infer that as a single mother she has been facing difficulties balancing work and raising sandy or else her party hardy attitude prevents her from effectively doing either although the latter may be undermined by the fact that she has a strong relationship with her daughter so i think she's a really good mom and she's just really struggling to balance you know her career and raising her daughter but like I said she is kind of um, a flirt I made her um, romantic she's very flirty she's a slob the opposite of river she's very messy she's a party animal and she's a daredevil and like I said I think that she's kind of just lived that party lifestyle never really wanted to settle down and she ended up getting pregnant after you know maybe a one night stand or something and then along came sandy so little sandy french is super duper cute obviously she is a toddler um she is sloppy just like her mom she's very excitable um obviously these are traits for the sims 3 we don't have these traits for our little toddlers in the sims 4 but just to give you an idea she's pretty much the spitting image of her mom molly um and when you go into the game in The Sims 3, she's only one day away from becoming a child, so she's not a toddler for long. Um, so, you know, you can play around with that. It was always fun to kind of pick her aspiration or her traits or whatever and kind of, you know, raise her kind of like her mom and like the spitting image. That's kind of what I always did because she was, you know, without a father. I, I just imagine her being like her mom and growing up very... Um, outgoing and she's into the party scene and she kind of looked for male attention and just was a big flirt got into some trouble in her teen years I just really enjoyed playing this family so freaking much when I was always playing the Sims 3 back in the day but anyways a little bit about their house that I'm recreating y'all their house when I was talking about in the last few parts how these houses are very like retro style very like 70s theme very funky this house I was like oh my god I I don't know how I'm gonna make this work how am I gonna make this cute in The Sims 4 it turned out so cute it's my favorite house I've done so far um, it's probably gonna take a hot a hot hot minute it's probably gonna take a, a good house another good build of mine a recreation of mine to top this house because it's just so different so different and the roofing in the back was kind of iffy I was like eh, it doesn't really look eh, good but it's just it's funky I couldn't help it I was just trying to go with the exact layout of the house in the sims 3 as i've mentioned previously i'm not going to be super duper anal about you know getting it perfect to where it's looks exactly the same as it is in the sims 3 um so i i just i wanted to have the layout and kind of like the same vibe going for it but anyways i think it turned out really really cute and of course i do have reshade like i said so the color is a little bit brighter um on my end as you're seeing but trust me it still looks good without reshade uh the colors it's just it just makes the colors brighter it's not like a huge difference a saturation difference um in regular game but yeah, so their house has th four, three, hold on, one, two, three bedrooms. So Molly and Sandy do share a room. Um, I don't know. I mean, if you wanted to download this family and play with them, I usually always ended up having Molly and Sandy move out. Um, you know, as sh maybe she found her. I've, I've played with this family so much. There was always so many different scenarios. I just always kind of came back to this family. They were definitely one of my favorites. But I had um, Molly, you know, meet a nice man to help raise her daughter. And they would move out. And she would stay in contact with Fiona. Um, or else I would just have her, you know, save up her money and get them a small, like, little trailer or something. Just to get out of Fiona and River's hair. Because, like I said, you know, too many... Um, too many heads under one roof with different personality traits can kind of clash and just kind of be overwhelming especially when you're opening your home to somebody um you don't want to overstay your welcome so i always had her move out so anyways yeah if you wanted to download this family in this house you could you know do whatever you want to but so they do share a room there's no room in this house to add a bedroom for sandy so she's gonna have to share with her mom maybe unless you wait until river moves out i don't know it's up to you but anyways i really like the floor plan of this house too because it's different and that's why i've said this before why i enjoy so much recreating these houses because it's 
it's me copying something, <laughs> so it's easy, but it's also something different. It's taking me outside of my box, my usual building style, and giving me, like, just kind of a little bit more creativity, in a sense, to get creative, um, you know, with the style and everything and the floor plan. And it's, it's, it's helping me as a builder, it really is. So, I really like their house because, um, Obviously, it's like very retro, and I was kind of like, okay, I could go for two different themes here because it's so retro looking. I can make it modern or make it just, you know, really homey and cozy, and I just imagine that because of the outside of the house is so bright in general and like just different colors and funky that the same would be for the inside. So, I kind of went for homey. It's very homey. I absolutely, I love this house. I think it turned out so freaking nice, but it's also very bright. It has like bright colors and I really wanted it to look lived in because this is Fiona's house and she, you know, is very career driven and she's done very well in her career and she has been a single mom for, you know, ever since River was born. I don't think she's ever been in a serious relationship and I'm not really sure why. Um, I don't really imagine her as the type that dates around a lot. I don't know why. I've just never imagined her. I feel like she's just that single mom that you know, her and Molly, maybe that's why they were such good friends. They just never really wanted to settle down and never really felt the need to have a man. Maybe they're just straight up feminist. I don't know. <laughs> but I think that she did a really good job, you know, raising River and then, you know, making, you know, a name for herself and her career. And then, of course, you know, she made this place a home. And so over time, I, I just believe it's very lived in and has all of her personality in it. And I just love it. <laughs> I really, really do. Um, the dining area is kind of small, so um, I really wanted to use a circular table, but because there was an entryway to the little bathroom right there, I ended up going for like a the rectangle regular table right there, just so it kind of gave you a little bit more room. And I really like the idea. I kind of, like I said, I kind of go with the same theme as in The Sims 3, but not all the way. Um, but I do like how in The Sims 3 there was a couch in their, you know, dining area. Um, kind of like a little play area, I guess you would say, or a little lounging area. I don't know, in the kitchen. I just think it looked really nice and flowed. And it's just different because, like I said, I would never think to do that in my own floor plan. And then the living room is also very, very cozy and lived in. And I had to give um, Fiona her little area because she is in the journalism career. So I had to give her a nice little desk in the hallway area because there's no room for her, like an office. But that's kind of how it was in The Sims 3. There was a desk in the hallway. So it turned out nice. And then also I was able to squeeze in a laundry room. Y'all know that in these recreations I'm trying to add laundry just because I personally just think it's realistic and most of us enjoy laundry for that reason in The Sims 4. So these houses in the Sims 3 base game do not have a laundry room, so I'm kind of trying to manipulate the floor plan so I can add that in. I've usually been adding it into uh, the bathrooms, which I've seen done before in some houses, so it's not too weird. <laughs> so I did put it over there. And the bathroom coming off of the kitchen, as you'll see in a few minutes, which also connects to Molly and Sandy's room. But anyways, in the hallway, the little entryway there, I just, I gave them a little chess table because they did have that same floor plan idea, like that same thing, same item, whatever you want to call it, in The Sims 3. As soon as you walked in the door, you seen like a chess table. So, uh, I, I used that because me and empty space, that's why I just, that's, that's why I like to recreate these houses because it just gives me ideas and I, I just really get to copy stuff and just remodel it and make it a lot cuter. So it's a win-win situation. But anyways, yeah, I kind of struggled a little bit with the living room. Uh, as you can see right there, it kind of like cut off um, because I was trying to decide do I want to squeeze like a love seat. But what really annoys me is for that couch right there that came with Parenthood is I love that couch. Some of the colors I'm not too fond of, like the color swatches, but I really like that green one right there that I'm using. But it, it annoys me because there's not a matching love seat for it. Or really even a chair so you kind of have to mix match it if you're going to use it which is cute Mi mix match is always cute and also I love to put those little kitty chairs those little animal looking chairs for the toddlers whenever I create a family um, with toddlers if there's room in the living room because realistically you know when I was little I had my own little chair in the living room that I would sit at and read and you know watch TV so I thought that turned out really nice but here I am creating the desk area 
for, well, I mean, it's, it's for everybody. Anybody can use it. But I put, like, the little bulletin board over it because I just imagine it would be Fiona's little work area and then of course River is like really smart I think she has pretty good grades and since she's such a perfectionist I just imagine her <laughs> being really good at school so she could use the computer as well but I also gave her a desk in her room as you'll see soon but I didn't give her a computer I just made it like a little study area instead but yeah this bathroom right here with the laundry room it was really hard to get all of that crammed into such a tight space. I honestly haven't even checked it yet to see if it's functional, but I'm pretty sure it is. Like, I mean, you can get into the door easily, um, so I, it shouldn't affect anything. I'm pretty positive you, you won't have any problems like, functioning in this bathroom or having your sims use it or anything like that. Um, but unfortunately, I did not have enough room to put Sandy's little kitty toilet in there. So it's going to be in hers and her mom's room, which is kind of gross because, I mean, ew. <laughs> I hope she cleans it out or else it's going to be smelling like freaking baby poop and pee the whole time. But anyways, their room, their, I can't talk, that came out like really weird. <laughs> their room is the biggest, um, which is, I imagine that before, they moved in that this room was kind of like a recreation room and they kind of use it as like an office and hangout space um fiona and river but of course when molly moved in or said she you know hey i need help i need i need a place to live uh she opened it up and they kind of you know moved the chest table and the couch that was um that's now in the kitchen um you know they just kind of moved it around and you know molly moved in so it's perfect because it turns out there's two sims sharing a room so it's big for all of them or all of them for both of them <laughs> and um so I kind of wanted like the, the color scheme obviously to like flow so I kind of gave them like that little orange retro looking room which I think turned out really really nice I gave um, Sandy some toys of course and then I also put like the little clothing piles on the floor because she's put they're supposed to be messy you know compared to river so i really kind of wanted to portray their personalities in their room um i didn't leave any messes anywhere else in the house because i really don't think that river or fiona would very much go for that they'd probably be like nah hell no nah, i don't need to pick up i just imagine yeah river definitely cleaning up after them everywhere she goes it's because i did make them or at least i made um my gosh i can't i'm getting tongue-tied molly i made molly a slob so you know she'll be leaving puddles everywhere she'll be leaving her dishes she won't clean up after herself and since she is in the cooking career i imagine her being the one that cooks for the family and she's always like trying new recipes leaving a mess and like i said it kind of just drives a river crazy which can probably cause some like tension just because i feel like you know like i said earlier that river and fiona are so used to like being on their own and then just to put this much personality you know just come crashing down on them it might just be a little bit too much um, I personally kind of understand it can relate to that situation that's happened to me in my childhood um, we had an aunt and three no, no two at the time two cousins and her husband my uncle move in with us for a little bit and we didn't have any extra room so they like slept in the living room on air mattresses and the couch and just big personalities <laughs> and toddlers and kids and just it was not fun and it didn't last very long because you know it was our home not theirs and y'all yeah, probably know what I'm talking about it's kind of like you don't want to overstay your welcome and it just kind of it's invasion of like your space and privacy so I don't know, I think that's why this family was so much fun for me to play with because, you know, you could have some, like, drama with it and kind of, you know, just take the storyline as far as you want it to go. But I think that Fiona and Molly will always be friends even if, you know, Fiona kind of kicks Molly to the curb. It's like, okay, I'm going to help you. We're going to we're gonna learn how to save money. We're going to, you know, help you get you a nice little trailer or, you know, maybe an apartment or something because... Honey, I just, you driving me crazy. You need to go. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I just, I love this family so much. And I love the idea and the, you know, broad, not broad. Oh, my gosh. Let me, what am I trying to say? Oh, my gosh. I don't even know. I don't know what I'm trying to say, y'all. Scratch what I was just trying to say. Ah, the possibilities. Yes, the possibilities that you can have with this family. There we go. Wow. It's been a day, y'all. It's been a day. It's a Monday. So, <laughs> Monday that I'm doing this voiceover. So, happy 
Halloween. This is Halloween. Yeah, this is going up Wednesday. So, happy Halloween, y'all. <laughs> let me know what you dress up for. If you're, like, going trick-or-treat and you're taking your little sister, little brother, let me let me know what you dressed up as. Me, I'm, I'm not dressing up this year. Last year, I did. I dressed up with my uh, little goddaughter. We matched. We were mini mouse together. Um, but this year, uh, I'm, I'm just not. <laughs> we're having, like, a scary, creepy, valley of fear type thing at the church. Um, so I will be like dressed as like a demon and scaring people. Yay. So that's my costume for Halloween. We'll be doing that um, the beginning of this week starting Monday through Halloween night. So yeah, happy Halloween y'all. I'm, I'm looking at me thinking ahead. Look at me doing this voiceover so far ahead. I'm proud of myself. But I have to. I have to do my voiceovers and my recording always, always in advance because my schedule. I don't have my own apartment anymore you know since all that drama happened a while back if, if y'all are y'all ogs y'all know what i'm talking about but anyways i don't have my own place i'm actually i'm kind of homeless <laughs> it's not funny <laughs> i do have a homeless that's i'm i'm, I'm lying <laughs> but like i don't have like a specific place i always stay sometimes i stay with my boyfriend sometimes i stay with my mom sometimes i stay with my nana basically i live out of my car i just like carry clothes with me everywhere which is fine because you know if one's not cooking something good i'll just go stop with the other what y'all cooking you know <laughs> but anyways it's it's nice it's fine you know until you know i take that next step in my relationship hopefully you know sim todd proposed to sim carissa well it's real life todd needs to get on it we can get on with our lives and get her own place <laughs> um i won't have like any space to record and edit like on the weekends and stuff because i'm kind of bouncing around from here to there and i have no privacy to record and do voiceovers at all like none so i have to do it at work which i have a pretty laid back work schedule for those of you who don't know i basically work for a surgeon who is pretty much half retired so he's hardly ever in the office so um i just kind of do me it's just me in the office and um i don't have a lot of work i stay called up and then i have lots of time to play the sims and build and i try to be very consistent with my channel and upload every day or at least six times a week and i'm about to add a new let's play when get famous comes out which is just gonna add more to the workload but it's fine it's fun i love it i enjoy it so I'm not complaining I'm just I'm just rambling <laughs> but anyways y'all this video is starting to wrap up um, I hope you guys liked it uh, like I said this house is by far my favorite I've recreated so far I'm just really proud of how it turned out and how cute it turned out so it is available for download on the gallery it does not include any custom content um, obviously the family does so they're both on the gallery make sure you go download them if you wanna but y'all I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up here here and yeah i hope you guys have a happy halloween and now it's time to get ready for thanksgiving <laughs> anyways y'all thanks for watching and i will talk to y'all later bye